Hey everyone, hope everyone is doing well. So in this video here, I want to talk a little bit about Clorinde. So before I start this video, let me just go through my build. I know a lot of time I keep this for the end and let me talk about it right now. So I am only at level 80 at the moment. My talents is only 76 because I didn't really farm for her, to be honest. I am using the mid splitter on her. This is the best weapon that I could use on her on my account at the moment. Majority of all the other crit damage um, swords is extremely good on her. So just keep that in mind. You wouldn't really want to use a crit rate weapon on her and that's because of her passive. So <laughs> I'm jumping straight into a kit, bro. So a passive here, once you get 100% of her max HP bond of life, she will get about 20% crit rate here for 15 seconds. So, you know, you don't want to stack too much crit rate on her. Um, artifact set, I'm using the four piece. This is off my Alekino because I don't really get good pieces of this. This is probably her best artifact set. Crit damage, electro damage, attack, attack, HP. You want to have a little bit of energy recharge as well. Now, one thing. So I was pulling for, you know, some Setos constellation. I don't know why. And I got Chlorine here. And if you just check here, I did like about 20 pulls. Yeah, I got C1. And I made a mistake. Normally, I usually do a C0 showcase. But I did use her for like a couple of hours and then I went and activated it. So my Clorind is at C1 and I'm not going to tell you that it isn't a big deal. Personally, I didn't really feel that much of a big jump. But that's because I didn't really experiment a lot with her. So I'll take the L on this. My apologies. I have at C1. The showcase will be at C1. But hopefully, like, if you are somebody that has her best in slot weapon, you know, maybe this could kind of balance it. So um, I'm using 51.3, 233 crit damage with 149.9 energy recharge. Now, the way how you use Chlorine before I go and I, oh my God, he's electro resistance. So how it works is that you click your E, one, two, three, and you dash. One, two, three, and you dash. But you don't have to like click one, one, one time. You could just hold down your left click or your attack button and it does it for you. So you don't have to keep spamming the attack button. So I'm holding it down. This is what it looks like. And you could just click the elemental skill during it. So this is basically how you're going to use her. Now, most of the time, you really want to start the rotation out with her Q her ultimate and the reason why is because you want to get this stack right up so i'm going to face him here i honestly i can't really remember if i get a hundred percent of bond of life here but we'll see so let me just remove all of it also this heals you by the way so you know it's she's very self-sufficient she's kind of squishy but you know her survivability is really good so let me get everything on the cool down here and I'll show you how I'll do this. So this is the team that I'm going to use. It's very comfortable. I'm going to start with her burst. I'm going to do a Kazuha swirl here. Put down Nahida. And then as you see I have some. This is basically how you use her. Now, he would have died, but I held down the attack button a little bit too much. But it's basically how you use her. You want to try to get her burst up, and then you trigger it, and then just one, two, three, dash, one, two, three, dash, one, two, three, dash, one, two, three, dash. Yeah, that's literally how you use her. And that's about it. That's about her kit, how you use her. Um, constellation wise would I recommend going for a constellation for her I wouldn't personally unless if you like this unit and you enjoy using this unit this is kind of nice let me see if I could find a smaller enemy so you could see what it does so okay so what this constellation one does is that every time she does the gunshot she will summon a night vigil shade near the opponent and it will attack the opponent as well every 1.2 seconds it looks kind of cool, but to be honest, I don't actually notice it. But let's see. So I'll trigger in this here. Yeah. 
And let me just wait and see how much damage that thing is actually doing. It says it's 30% off attack, so... Okay, so it's doing about average to be almost around the same amount as her gunshot. So it's like an extra hit. So that's pretty nice. If you like that animation style, you know, go go for it, bro. Um, but she's a really fantastic unit. And before I give you a showcase, I know this video is just all over the place. I just want to get this video out, to be honest, until I do my full review of her. I just came home from work and I got to go in like half an hour again, to be honest. I got to go and do some stuff. Um, would I recommend going for Clorinde at the moment? I mean, I only have like eight hours experience with her. Maybe less than that, maybe about four hours, to be honest. I, I don't know where I got the eight from. If you don't have a solid Electro unit in your account, yeah, go for her. If you only have a character like Kaching and you want to go for somebody stronger, you absolutely go for her. We're talking about the main DPS Electro units them here. Let me see who we got, who we going up against. So her main competitors as main DPS, honestly, she only has like two. Well, I haven't used him as yet, but she has Kaching, Raiden, uh, you know, like these units, yes, you could use them as main DPSs, but they're more of sub DPS or field DPS. You could use the Aimiko for Hyper Bloom on field, and I always recommend, um, you know, using her like that. And she's crazy strong, but to be honest, as a main, she's she fills the role as mostly a main DPS. So if you don't have any of these units here, we absolutely go for her. If you have Kaching and you really want to get something new and something a little bit stronger without having to invest like so much time in, absolutely go for her. Now, if you have a C0 ride in Shogun, this is where, you know, it has me thinking a lot. Um, in power-wise, to be honest, I feel like they are very similar. I have gotten a lot of good results with ride in Shogun, to be honest. She at C0, she was just complete. I know a lot of people say that you need to go for like C2 to make her strong. And absolutely, C2 is cracked. Like once you get C2 riding, no other main DPS Electro units feels like her. Because she just dishes out big numbers all of the time. Now, that's if you go for C2 riding. Now at C0, I think they are very comparable. The only difference that I actually see is that one is hot and the other one is sexy. So let me go into the showcase here. I'll just note one thing, this is in the best abyss for her. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So I want to start with her burst so I could swirl with Kazuha and then I'll do everything else. Right, we get this down here. I just keep rotating like this. Obviously, she will get stronger as I build her, but so far, you know, she's comfortable, but this is a very comfortable team, so, you know. Yeah, that's literally how you play her. So let's move on, right? Oh my god. I did not get the swirl there, but would it really matter? And why did they get pushed back? It's whatever. Oh, 
That was pretty fast, right? Yeah, so w once I break the shield, I'm gonna um, skip to the next phase, to the next chamber, because it makes no sense. God, I hate those things. All right, last floor. Let's see how fast we could gun him down. Wanna keep the burst up? That's pretty fast, right? That's kinda insane. <laughs> yep. Um but yeah, he he he's done. He's done. So I'm gonna just pop the burst now. I could tell it, he ain't gonna survive this rotation at all. So let me swirl Electro here. That's game for him there. Yeah. Can I end with the burst? Nope. He's dead. That was actually really fast. Um, so you see, once I start building her, you know, better and getting all her talents up, she's going to be insanely good. So yeah, this is my first thoughts on Clarend and what I actually thought about her, like honestly speaking. She's a great unit. I will say she is probably the most fun DPS in this game. If you do not care about meta, if you do not care about big numbers, I'm not saying that you won't get any big numbers with her. It's just that she attacks really fast and I mean, we did see some big numbers there, but you know, that's coming from the whole Alakino timeline. It feels weird not seeing like 100k per hit. Not seeing that she won't be able to do it. I've seen some people done it and it's wild. Now, um, would I recommend getting her again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have a main DPS unit, I like sure. I would recommend her. So this is my first initial thoughts. Leave it awesome below. What you think about Clorind? Hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.